Good to see your face, your mind. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday prayers here from Chapel Gap in store. A dull, <coughs> drizzly morning. Um, I would sooner it was as yesterday when the sun shone and it was cold and frosty. But we begin, begin Friday morning prayers, welcoming everybody, and with the prologue to the Friday morning communions. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the Heavenly Father, the Earthly Mother, and the Great Masters, reverence to the holy, pure and saving teachings, reverence to the Brotherhood of the Elect. Friday morning we commune with the Angel of the Air, saying, Angel of the Air, enter my lungs and give the air of life to my whole body. As you say this, you contemplate on the atmosphere around you, as you connect with the rhythm of your breathing. Psalm 7 O oh God, I come running to you like a frightened child. My pursuers, like hideous monsters, seek to tear me limb from limb. O oh Lord, if I really am to blame for their hostilities, if I have willfully hurt anybody, if I have selfishly blighted another man's soul, then let the axe fall. I have no right to live. I almost wish I could die. O oh God, have mercy. You know the secrets of my hearts and the desires of my flesh. You know I want so much to do your will. You know my greatest enemy is myself, how ineffectual I am in dealing with my inner conflicts. You know and you have assured me that you care. You have judged my wickedness. Now rise up to deliver me from its ugly consequences. Oh, when will there be an end to evil? When will this frustrating struggle cease? I claw like a wounded animal at the promises of God for comfort. I appeal to his love for solace and strength. I know the end of those who do not repent of their sins. Their selfishness boomerangs. Sin kicks back. They stew in their own juice. They cut their own throats. Thus I must persist in running to God in my defeats, that I may learn to walk with him in his victories. I will continue to sing his praises and to lay claim to his righteousness. So words from the Dalai Lama this morning. No good ever came of anger. Anger may seem to offer an energetic way of getting things done. But such a perception of the world is misguided. The only certainty about anger and hatred is that they are destructive. And I read to you this morning the, uh, the reading from Romans 12. Celebration must be combined with service. The, rela the relationship between man and God is a two-way street. Our God gives. We must respond to his gracious gifts. Our response is the offering of our lives, the placing of ourselves at his disposal for the accomplishment of his purpose is in our world about us. We are, once we acknowledge God's love and accept his salvation, under new management. This is what worship is all about. It is not confined to loud singing or verbal exclamations. It is turning our hearts, minds and bodies over to God's ownership and de dedicating our abilities and gifts to his service. We have all received such gifts for this very purpose. They are not given to us to enhance our beauty or ensure our worldly security or even to make us more desirable or respected among the people with whom we live and labour. 
they are committed to us in order to be committed back to God in and through and by way of service to our fellow men for God's sake. This is precisely the way in which our God meets the needs of our neighbour through us and through these gifts entrusted to us. Not at all of us have those gifts that enable us to administer or preach or teach or finance important projects, but we all have specific abilities. Love, energy, persistence, patience, sincerity, concern, creativity. We are to exercise these things upon one another and on behalf of one another. We are to care for each other, even as much as we care for ourselves. We are to allow our God to reach and touch others, even our very enemies, with his care and concern for them through us. And the intercessions this morning. O oh God of all life, of each life, I offer you my prayers. In the love of Christ, in the affection of Christ, in the company of Christ, as your own household desires in heaven, so I may desire on earth this day. We pray for the coming day and for the church throughout the world. A prayer now from New Zealand. It, the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be. Father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come <coughs> on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us, for you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Janice mentioned a few requests from our brother Steve holding Burma. She holding Burma or gathered here. Oh yes, uh, Jan has asked us to remember holding Burma for all who are gathered here and all on our healing lists. We remember them this day and dedicate our Friday morning prayers to them. I'd like now to read some words from the various <coughs> traditions, some of the peace prayers on caring. Your rod and your staff come for me. Psalm 23. From the Muslim tradition, we remember the grace and blessings of Allah upon us. We were stubborn enemies, and he joined our hearts in love, so that by his grace and blessings, we have become brothers and sisters. We pray for the victims of war, Peoples made homeless, deprived of citizenship, physically or mentally wounded, those in mental and emotional conflict, those who bear burdens for others, the dispersed, rejected, blamed by others and themselves. God of nations whose kingdom rules over all, have mercy on our broken and divided world. Shed abroad your peace in the hearts of men and women, and banish from them the spirit that makes for war. Make the sufferings of our enemies intolerable to us, and send us your spirit for the binding up of each other's wounds. 
may our pain be joined with theirs, so that together we may be part of the fullness of Christ's own suffering for us. And from the Buddhist tradition, let us pray that all living beings realise that they are all brothers and sisters, nourished from the same source of life. Let us pray that we ourselves cease to be the cause of suffering to each other. I will be so busy picking the candles and just say that I love you just like this. Put the candle if you are in there, okay? Before we end with our closing prayer, I'd just like to read a bit of a story of the modern tradition about Twelfth Night, the Epiphany, and the journey of the Magi in 2016. Or 2017 as it is now. And it's the journey of the Magi which continues from that first century. We find the Magi coming as they did from this first century. They had a few problems with London traffic and were seriously led by mis misled by signs to the Angel and King's Cross. Inquiring diligently about the star they were referred to Professor Brian Cox, who thought it was amazing, while smiling in a constant and strangely unsettling way. In Harrods, the camels made a mess all over soft furnishings. On the underground, commuters glared at no smoking signs as incense wafted gently through the carriages. And when the great day came, they saw the entire boating population slumped on sofas by four o'clock rendered senseless by too much dead poultry in the Queen. Whilst over at Liberties and Hamleys, the flickering angels sang glory to God in the high street. And they found him, with the inns full up again, in the old familiar place, bringing their unregarded gifts to the empty stable of the human heart, where the infant Christ is born again and again and again. The love and affection of the angels be with me. The love and affection of the saints be with me. The love and affection of heaven be with me. To lead me and to cherish me this day. Amen.